Alright guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, what we will be looking into is how to create subnetworks given a network address, right? So here we have a network address and we are going to be creating three different subnetworks, one for the HR department, one, one for the sales department, one from the management department. And each of these department have different host requirements. So the HR department needs 54 hosts, sales department needs 1,509 hosts, the management department needs 643 hosts. All right, so whenever we carry out fixed length subnet masking, so in each of my subnetworks, the prefix mask must stay the same. That means that each of the subnets can accommodate equal number of hosts. Right, so let's see how we can go about it. First thing what we are going to do is we are going to be looking into the network address because this is the address that we are going to create our subnets from. Right, so in this address, the first 16 bits will serve as my network address, network bits, because this is our prefix mask. So let's just write down network address 102.151 but the last two octets are going to be my host bits right because the first 16 bits is my network bits then my last 16 bits is just going to be my host bits so the third octet and the fourth octet are just going to be my host bits Alright, so once we're done with that, what we're going to be looking into is which one is going to be our largest subnetwork or which one is the largest LAN over here. See, the sales department, it needs a total of 1,509 hosts, right? So this is going to be our largest LAN, right? So what we're going to do is... In order to create our subnetworks, we're definitely going to be borrowing bits, our some, some bits from our host bits in order to create the subnetworks. But what we're going to first see is how many bits do we really need to accommodate 1509 hosts, right? So if we give out around three host bits, the number of usable host addresses we can get from three host bits is. 2 to the power 3 minus 2, right? That's just 6 host addresses. So if you go about this, you will see that you need around 11 host bits in order to accommodate a total of 1,509 hosts, right? So this first... So this 11 bits, these are just going to be our host bits, right? So I'm just going to mark them red. So these I'm going to assign as my host bits for my subnetwork, right? So since initially I had a prefix mask of 16 and now I'm adding 5 more bits to my subnetwork. So my network bits are going to be 16 plus 5. So that's 21, right? So that's going to be my so that's going to be my prefix mask for the subnetwork. So now you see these bits these five bits in my third octet, they were initially serving as host bits for my initial network, right? So these five bits, I can write in different combinations to get my subnets. So this could be my subnet one. If I want to get another subnet, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a different combination of those 
five bits that I just borrowed, right? Like this five bits. Just mark them something, so. Hundred two dot one fifty one dot zero 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 one and then my host bit stay. Slash twenty one. So these are still just going to be my host bits. The last eleven bits. And this will remain my as my network bit for my subnets. Now subnet three would be one zero two dot one fifty one dot uh zero 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 one zero 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 dot zero 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 subnet stays the same. These are still just going to be my host bits. This is going to be the network bit for my subnet. So similarly, all I have to do is write this five bits in 32 different combinations and then we can get around 32 different subnets right but we don't really need that many subnets we just needed three subnets over here but if you want you can obviously go for subnet four subnet Oops, subnet five, blah, 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 blah. We can write up to subnet 33. Right, because from over here in my host bit, I created, I borrowed around five bits to create my subnet so I can get around 32 subnets. Right, so that was basically the idea behind fixed length subnet masking. So if you see over here, um, let's say in subnet one, uh, we are um, getting a total of around two to the power 11 minus two, that's two, zero, four, six, usable host addresses right so uh, we really needed just 1509 hosts uh, but we have around 2046 usable host addresses in our hands so this is um all right uh, but for subnet 2 uh, we could either give this to management department or HR department but either way, uh, we will be giving them around 2046 usable host addresses, but they need much, much less, right? Like one of them just needs 643 hosts and one of them just needs 54 hosts, right? So if we carry on fixed and subnet masking, you see there is a lot of waste of IP addresses, right? So in order to overcome that, um, what we can do is go for variable and subnet masking, but since this tutorial we would just like to stick to fixed and submit masking. So I hope this was clear, guys. Um, thank you for watching.